Hey guys, so I'm currently editing this video and I realized that I did not film an intro for it. I actually filmed this video like months ago and now I'm getting ready to uh, move to a new tag room which is hopefully a video that is coming very soon. I don't know, it's so hard to tell whenever I'll be able to edit and get a video out. I'm sorry, I look terrible. <laughs> Um, but I just wanted to come on here and preface this that it was filmed a long time ago in the heat of summer and now here it is the first day of October so yeah there it was really noisy the day that I was making it the cicadas were really um, making their noise throughout the whole video so I hope that's not too bothersome but I hope you guys really enjoy this um, for me cleaning out my tack room and get ready to see the whole new space that I am currently working on so enjoy the video good morning guys so it is already the next morning and I am so ready to get started on this job um, the sun is already coming up it's like 6 45 in the morning and it's already getting like super hot out so I need to go ahead and get started on this project, and yeah, let's get started. So yesterday I went to the Dollar Tree and got these two containers. My grooming tote is really big and really heavy, so I decided to put just the stuff that I would be uh, using on a daily in here to make it a lot lighter, because I hate toting that thing so far. So that's what I got that for. And then this is for like, uh, bathing stuff and just organizing things on the shelves so hopefully it works well and they're both just a dollar and really cheap and I like them so we're gonna use those to uh, organize all the stuff in my tech room embarrassed to show you guys this but this is what I call my tack room <laughs> it is like a shed that is built onto our outdoor building and I have just always used it for like half of it like this half is what I use for my tack room and being away I just let things go you can see I have my saddle back there um, bridles and oh it looks awful and uh, today we're going to be tackling all this, and this is like all of our garden stuff, but today I'm going to be tackling all of it, and hopefully not only can I get my stuff like organized, but also I can have like this side of the room halfway decent, so it's going to be a long job, but I'm up to the task, so let's get started. So hopefully you guys can see this, but like these are my shelves that I usually use I only use like the first two or three shelves because I mean I just have one horse I don't have that much stuff but the rest of it is used for like storage for all of our other things but it is all just an absolute mess so the first thing you're going to need whenever you are starting a project like this is gloves you never know what sort of creepy colors are going to be in your stuff and you don't want to get bit by just doing work and reaching your hand into a place and you know get bit by a spider or something like that that would be good so always make sure you wear gloves and i also have some wasp spray because they're really bad to get in like the eaves in here so just in case you always want to think about you know what kind of bugs there might be in your stuff before you start like messing around with it uh, just for you know caution sake so the first step to cleaning out a space is always empty. So I'm going to try to get everything out of here and like go through it and we'll see where we're at there. I have cleared out pretty much everything that was in here except for the stuff back there. But that's just because it's like it's home and I literally have nowhere else to put it. 
and I would just literally put them right back there. So they're gonna stay where they are. Um, and the kittens have just absolutely come out and they're like wondering what I'm doing. I do have to get this hay out of here, um, which I'm just gonna scoop up and rake out of here. It is already getting so incredibly hot. Um, and I still have to take everything off of these shelves. I'm actually thinking about moving these back here just because everything gets so faded right here because the sun it catches all the morning sun so everything fades really quickly and uh, I'm really tired of that happening so I think we might just move them back there if we have enough room and then my saddles and stuff need to be like wiped off I'm not going to do a deep deep clean just because I deep cleaned them not too long ago believe it or not but they do have like stuff on them so I'll have to get that off and then my bridles also I cleaned them recently but my rope reins need to be cleaned desperately very desperately um they're really like ugh. uh these especially it's hard to tell just because like the colors that I picked I wanted dirt to not really be able to show up and it doesn't but I know they're super dirty so those really need to be cleaned um and then I'll just sort through everything and yeah that'll be it so here's like all of the stuff that I took out um there's quite a bit here actually it doesn't look like as much as it was but there's actually quite a bit here so I just kind of piled it around because I wanted to see what everything was and where it could go and like categorize it in some ways and some things like this thing I have no idea where to go with that um but yeah i have to i'm gonna pile up the rest of that hay into there and then throw it away and call it a day um once i get everything put back and uh michelle's gone through so that's the next big thing gosh you guys i just found We truly do have some very bad barn cats because they can't even catch like baby mice. <sighs> it's crazy. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm gonna continue. I don't, they've scurried away now. I don't really know if I can catch them and like put them somewhere else because they can't, the hay can't stay here so they won't have a home. But um, if I can move them with the hay, I probably will, but I'm afraid the cats are gonna catch them before. I can so uh, anyways I am still making progress on the shed I can you see how hot I am by like how red my face is I'm sweating so much it's getting so hot oh I'm really trying to get this job done but it's it's really getting hot now I thought I started early enough but I guess I probably should have started earlier um oh well <laughs> you try um, so yeah, I'm just going to continue with like purging and, um, you know, just cleaning things up. Okay guys, so I have been able to get the shelves that were sitting right here and get them put back there. So now all that's left to do is just to go through them and, uh, just get all this stuff like cleared off and dusted and everything and find a place for everything and everything in its place and uh, put stuff back um I also took off my saddles so before I put this one back this is the one I never use so I'm not going to worry too much about it but the other one is about to go right there and then my saddle blankets up there I'm about to organize these onto that wall
history with this pack room. It was so exhausting. I'm so hot right now. It's like a million degrees outside right now. Um, but I finally got it done, or my tack at least. There's still stuff behind me that I have to put back in, but my tack is back the way I want it to be. And I think this is great. I was able to purge enough to get down to just one shelf. So the first thing is here, we have all my bridles. They were all just on one hook. Now they're spread across the uh, wall. And they look really nice. I like that. Um, and then I have my mouth in the back. And here I'm at saddle. Saddle pads at the top. Um, my saddle right here. And my other saddle is right there because I just put another saddle blanket. Um, and then back here I have the feed. That's her um, like grain, and that's her really dry stuff that we grind ourselves. Um, there are saddle bags and some extra bits and stuff right back there. Um, up here I have my food and products I don't use as much. My everyday grooming products are right there, the ones that I use all the time. And then back behind there's a can of um, fly spray, then extra products that I don't use right now in that pink tote. And I have some extra shoes right there. And I have my uh, little bell boots and split boots right there along with a screwdriver that I use to put on, you know, like bits on bridles and things like that. Then I have her salt treats, those in that jar in the bag back there. And then here I have her vet wraps. So it's all on this first shelf and then just half of the other one. And then the rest of it is space for everybody else in my family to use, except for her two feet buckets down here. So that is how I organized my pack room. So hot right now oh my goodness you can see how hot and sweaty I am but anyways that is how I organized my tack room and I hope you guys enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next video bye